I'm Tom Mustin with the latest from Denver 7. We have an update to Colorado's coronavirus cases. The state health department says they're monitoring a confirmed coronavirus case from Australia. The department says a woman in her 20s who visited Aspen earlier this week has tested positive for the virus. She has since returned to Australia. Now they say she had contact with Aspen residents and visitors at social events, and some of those people have reported experiencing respiratory problems. Pitkin County says it's working with the health department to get people with symptoms tested. The number of presumptive cases tonight in the state of Colorado remains at eight. And the Douglas County School District says it's no longer concerned about a potential case of the coronavirus. The Tri-County Health Department says someone associated with Ranceview Middle School may have been exposed, but that test result came back negative. The district says classes will be held as scheduled this week. The school is disinfecting the building and all buses with routes to Ranceview. One student in Douglas County did test positive for the virus after an international trip, but did not attend any classes. Well, tonight a rock slide has closed Highway 40 in both directions near the Yampa Valley Regional Airport. That slide happened this afternoon east of the airport in Mount Harris Canyon. The road is closed at County Road 33 in Steamboat and at the intersection of County Road 27. Authorities in Route County say the hillside is unstable and more rocks could fall. The highway will be closed until at least tomorrow. That's some mitigation experts will assess the damage and the danger. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here's a check on your forecast, and it's a nice one. Tomorrow, partly cloudy with a high of 62, then a string of 60s, but a little blip in the road on Friday with a high of 45 and a chance for showers, but then we're back to 60 by Sunday, and the sun is back out again. Pretty nice time of year. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand Update. Thanks for joining us. Check back here later tonight for another update, and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Tom Mustin. Have a great day.